Hi there, Yogi, Virendra Yogi. There has been a lot of enlightening books dealing on the power of thought and how the power of thought has really revolutionized the wonderful world. The thought deliverers are poets, thinkers, philosophers, prophets, the inventors, the scientists, and they have really taken full possession of their mind and mind being the master power that molds and makes. And man is mind and more he takes the tools of thought and shaping what he wills, bring forth a thousand joys and thousand ills. Man thinks in secret and came to pass, the environment is but a looking glass. Further you can say, thought in the mind has made us. What we are by thought was wrought and built. If a man's mind has evil thought, pain comes to him as comes the will behind the ox. If a man deals in purity of thought, joy follows him in our shadow. Beloved friends, these are the words from a small book known as As a Man Thinketh, written by James Allen, whom I treat as my guru guide and the divine soul who has inspired me and revolutionized my life. Here are some of the important points. Here are some of the very precious points and lines which I want to share with you and I'm sure it will also enlighten you and it will really give full position of your mind to control it and use it towards a definite purpose in life with positive mental attitude and always preventing the negative attitude of this mind. Because you know what happens, you yourself are the creator of yourself with virtue of the thought you choose and encourage. Further, your mind is the master weaver both to the inner garment of character and the outer garment of our circumstances. And third point, that maybe you have woven your mind in such a way that you are in misery, sorrow, grief and pain and all sorts of poverty, all sorts of distress and stressful life you are leading. Now it is the right time you should change your mental attitude from negative to positive and you will be really creating by the right choice and true application of thought, the heavenly mentions of your life where there is beauty, strength, joy, happiness, peace, and everything else. Now, let's share these words because you can read it and you can listen to me and you can really enlighten yourself. The aphorism, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he not only embraces the whole of a man's being, but is so comprehensive as to reach out to every condition and circumstance of your life. <laughs> A man is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. As a plant he springs from and could not be without the seed, so every act of man he springs from the hidden seed of thought and could not have appeared without them. This applies equally to those acts called spontaneous and unpremeditated, to those which are deliberately executed, beloved friends. See the power of wisdom in these words. Act is the blossom of thought, and joys and suffering are its fruits. Thus does a man garner in the sweet and bitter fruits of his own husbandry. And again, you see what I've already told you. Thought in the mind has made us. What we are by thought was wrought and built. If a man's mind has even thought, pain comes to him as comes the will that's behind. If one endures in purity of thought, Joas follows him as his own shadow sure. Man is growth by law and not a creation of artifice. And cause and effect is as absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought as in the world of visible and material things. A noble and godlike character not a thing of favor of chance, but the natural result of continued effort in the right thinking, the fact of long cherished association with godlike thought and ignoble and bestial character by the same process, the result of the continued harboring of groveling thought. Beloved friends, what a beautiful idea. Man is made or unmade by himself. 
Look at these beautiful lines. Man is made or made by himself. In harmony of thoughts, he forces the weapons by which he destroys himself. Also, he fashions the tools with which he builds for himself. Have only mentions of joy and strength and peace. By the right choice and the true applications of thought, man ascends to the divine perfection. By the views and wrong applications of thought, he descends below the level of his. Between these two extremes, all the grades of character, and man is their maker and master. Beloved friends, what I mean to say: arise, awake, and stop not till you have got the enlightenment within yourself. Your mind is everything else. We are what we think. All that arises with our thinking, with our thought, we make the world. And so I can tell you very confidently. You are the molder of your character, maker and shaper of your conditions and environment, because you are the master of your thought. You are the architect of your life, and you are builder and shaper and creator of all the heavenly environment. Just because of thinking, your environment is a reflection of your thought in the mind. May God bless you. Get enlightenment. Get wisdom. Persevere, persist continually towards attainment, ultimate wisdom. To take full possession of your mind, believing that mind, whatever it can see and believe, the mind can deliver to you. If you believe in yourself, because life's battle don't always go to the strong or the fast man, but sooner or later the man who wins is the man who thinks one can. Yes, believe in yourself. Take full possession of your mind. And then what happens? Yours will be earth and everything that's in it. If you really comprehend the power of your mind, you can really conquer everything on earth. The people who believe in the power of mind, they are our really role model. They are our idol. Life subjects may not remind us. We can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us. Footprints on the sands of time. Yes, you too can be footprints of the sands. May God bless you and thank you very much for watching this video. Get inspired by such great men like Dr. G. V. K.